big driver of the political side of that. But on the other side was Van Andel. And Van Andel had wheedled his way into the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. DeVos was the finance chairman at the Re Republican National Committee. And you say, why? How could that be? Again, what we're saying is they adopted the great mythologies of our country, capitalism, freedom, entrepreneurship, and claim to be the paragon of those values. Then they wrap themselves in Christian theology, which today, even now, although we have multitude of religions in America, is the dominant sure. religious message of our country. And these, by the way, became so usable for the Republican Party at that time, and Ronald Reagan became their spokesman. So DeVos became the champion of the Ronald Reagan, and he was responsible for the fundraising for the Ronald Reagan candidacy at that time as the finance chairman of the Republican Party. So between these two, DeVos over here cultivating the politics and Van Andel cultivating the business. The other thing about the Amway message, which was used so usable by the Republican Party at that time, was if you fail, if you're poor, it's your fault. It's only your fault. Don't blame capitalism. Don't blame big business. Don't blame your boss. Don't blame the union. Blame only you. Hey, if you like what you hear, like and subscribe. It really means a lot, and we would love to have you coming back every week. Thank you.